Hey everyone, Princess Leia here. I've got these two fluoride stones. They're kind of large uh, as far as stones go. I'm going to hold them in my hands like this. And just get rid of that negativity in me. All the negativity. The holiday season is full of negativity. Anyway, so today... I'm going to tell you all how to ruin any small business anywhere. And the reason why you would want to ruin a small business is because sometimes everyone involved in a business is bad. Okay? Um, I knew this one business where the owner had this petite young woman stand behind the cash register late at night all alone so that some man might come and sexually assault her. And I had hot foot powder on my person. I'll tell you how to do hot foot powder in a later video, next video. And I shot some of it in her direction. I just blew some of it in her direction and she quit her job that night. And I have to go back to that store because I am I have Batman Syndrome or Superman Syndrome where I just have to save people for some reason. And I will go back to that store to make sure he has not put another young woman in harm's way. And if he has, I will blow the, the powder at her again, make her quit, and then I will do... The ritual that I am about to tell you. It's really easy. All you have to do to destroy a corrupt small business. And yes, this works on decent businesses too. So use responsibly. The bad guys are already going to use this to their own ends. They already have ways to destroy small businesses. But the way I'm going to do it. Is this. You take two bottles of vinegar, two glass bottles of vinegar, big bottles, okay? And you have to make sure there are two bottles. And the reason why is because usually when a transaction occurs in a store, it's between two people. It's symbolic. And it will add power to the ritual if you use two bottles instead of one. And if you don't have two bottles, Get two glass bottles and fill them up with vinegar. But I'm just going to buy two big glass bottles of vinegar from a store. I'm going to go to the threshold of the store where the door meets the sidewalk. And I'm just going to smash them. I'm going to smash them on the ground. Vinegar, glass flies everywhere. And then I'm going to run away. And that is how you destroy a small business. Now, here's another way to destroy a small business. You do exactly what I just said with the vinegar bottles, but then you take a match, and you light the match, and you place it on the ground where the vinegar is, and you either let it sizzle out because the ground is wet now, or you just let it burn itself out until the whole match is black or whatever happens. Now, you don't want to do this because this is fire setting, even though you're not hurting anyone with the fire, you're hurting people with the magic, which is legal. Some asshole might call the police and say, Hey, I saw this bitch. She was lighting a fire outside a store. You better arrest her. They check the CCTV. You go to jail. Now, I'm just going to take two bottles of vinegar. I'm going to throw them at the threshold of this store and I'm gonna run away. I'm probably gonna do it late at night so that no one catches me. But if you know a small business where a lot of bad guys come to hang out and buy their goods, then you might wanna try this technique. It really does work. I invented it myself, I've used it before. And for the folks at Winchester Deli, I just have this to say. 
You better start treating me with respect. I've done a lot for the community, and you better start treating me with respect. Because I know damn well that you can't do anything if I throw two bottles of vinegar on your doorstep. And it's legal. Of course it's legal. It's littering, but that's just a misdemeanor at most. It's legal. I'm not going to do the match thing. Princess Leia signing out. Please use this responsibly. Next episode, Hot Food Powder.